Yeah, I used to think I had a pretty good work-life balance. You know, I, I, I have been struggling a bit. I have been struggling. And the fact that no matter, no matter how hard I, I think I'll focus on having a, a positive and encouraging, hope, peace-filled message, somebody's just gonna be like, ah, you suck, this sucks. I used to think I had a pretty good work-life balance. And I did. I did. For a long time, I, I did. I, I would say that's true. I did. Uh, last few months, I've pushed myself to <laughs> some kind of limit that I didn't know existed, where I, my work-life balance seems to be way out of whack. And, uh, I mean, I, I guess it seems like it would be a natural thing. I've got my own business that I'm running. I've, I've got, you know, multiple... YouTube channels and accounts that I'm working with and, and running and then a family with a, a baby, a six month old and I'm um, doing ministry at the church a couple times a week and, and everything that's involved in that and a dog back there somewhere <laughs> I'm trying to keep take care of as well uh, I guess it's understandable that I, that I might feel like I'm a little out of balance sometimes which is why this little break right here is, is pretty good, coming out here in the woods, being out here away from civilization, any kind of cell phone service. Uh, I even forgot my cell phone. I was planning to do a nice, awesome, cinematic drone shot leaving this forest and showing you the beauty of the area that we're in right now. And uh, I don't have my phone on me because it's not working, so why would I carry it so that I could use it to fly my drone because uh, I'm not using it out here, which is good, having that little break. and. I imagine anybody watching this can relate because you're watching this video, so you are participating in social media and probably are aware of a break that you need yourself, most likely. So hopefully you're going to get that. Um, but I just wanted to make this video because, you know, I, I, I have been struggling a bit. I have been struggling, and it's probably my own fault, definitely my own fault. You know, I should be having faith in God that no matter what happens, no matter what things might fall apart, that God's got us. And I'm pretty bad about doing that uh, or having that mindset a lot of the time. I'm constantly worrying about, you know, think when things are going to fall apart, then they're going to fall apart and it's going to be bad. And I don't know why I think like that sometimes, but I do. And that's why it's just great to come out here and have this little reset and and refocus and even talking about it just like there's I have anxiety and you know, I can't even speak I have anxiety about like putting it out there I've, I've been fairly honest on this channel um, sometimes brutally honest to my own detriment on this channel about my life and and things that are happening in it but uh, <laughs> it's interesting you know I, I, I almost always can expect that there's gonna be some Somebody out there just has something really bad to say about whatever I put out and it gets to the point where a video about whether or not I'm going to breed ball pythons is somehow controversial. <laughs> it just seems, in the grand scheme of things, it's so not. And yet, that's where my mind goes like, oh, this is going to be a little controversial. But no, it, it's really not. If you really think about it. But, or if you really think about it, it is. That's the issue, is I think so much about what I'm gonna put into these videos a lot of the time, and I, I didn't used to do that as much, but I think over the years, as, as I become more and more aware and more sensitive to other people's opinions and thoughts on what my videos are gonna be like, that's just naturally happening, where I'm thinking too much about how my videos are gonna be received and not just putting out an honest piece of content, which is what I really want to do, is just put out honest content. So I've started journaling last week. It was recommended to me by somebody I've been talking with about the fact that I've been struggling. And so I've been doing that and it's been cool because even though in the back of my mind I'm thinking, oh, the kids might read this someday. It's like, for the most part, it's just me and the pen and the paper and my thoughts and processing them alone without thinking about who's going to receive it. You know, like this vlog channel, it's gone through so many different changes from just being a true vlog channel to... Uh, to something that's like more curated instead of just raw, you know, because life is full of not cinematic masterpiece moments, but snotty faces and, and blood and sweat and tears and, and a lot of ugliness, you know, a lot of, a lot of visceral things. Um, you know, I, I'm still 
thinking about my, my grandma passing, you know, it was very grateful, very graceful. It was very graceful. We couldn't have asked for a more grace-filled passing for my grandma, I don't think. Yeah, but there's still part of me that's that's processing, you know, that she's not here anymore. Um, anyway, it's just kind of a rambling bumble. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be honest here and not think about the fact that, you know, how many thousands of people are going to watch this. Um, and just be honest, because that's all I really want to do with this channel is just be honest, be encouraging. And it's tough when in my mind I'm constantly thinking about like how it's going to be received, and and the the fact that no matter no matter how hard I I think I'll focus on having a, a positive and encouraging hope peace filled message, somebody's just gonna be like, ah, you suck. This sucks. How could you be complaining? How could you be struggling? You've got a great family. You've got. You've got a, a wonderful home you live in. You live in a beautiful place. You can go out here to a place like this just an hour down the road and, and get away from the troubles that the world seems to bring in and just turn your phone off. You know, how hard is that? Just turn it off. Just don't, don't focus on all that stuff. You know, you got so many good things going for you, but that doesn't change the fact that the thoughts creep in, you know? It doesn't change the fact that you can still struggle even in those moments and that people do and... You could think you have the world in a teacup and you're sitting on top of it and, or other people could think that of you and yet you could just be feeling very alone and struggling. Um, and so fortunately I've had lots of people that I can talk to, people that I, that I love and respect and um, I can speak with those people and it's really helpful. So, where'd my dog go? <laughs> So as much as we're out here for my buddy's birthday, I'm really stoked uh, that it's <laughs> happened at the timing of the day that his birthday is when it is, because I really needed this moment to just get away and not focus on all, everything that's been happening in, in the world um, outside of the trees. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people out there struggling a lot harder than I am and maybe don't have anybody to talk to. And that's why I wanted to extend my ear to anybody who's in that position, who's struggling, has no one to confide in, no one to talk to about their struggles. And you can call me, we can FaceTime, we could, you know, we could s connect however will work. Um, 925-337-2635. That's my number. If you're in that boat and you have no one to talk to, you do. You can talk to me. So just reach out and let me know if that's you, and I'll be more than happy and willing to listen and process with you because I know that if I didn't have that, I probably wouldn't be here. So I um, count my blessings that I do have people to talk to and process these raw negative emotions with, um, this, you know, the negative mental stuff that, that happens and comes, especially in, in the world where we're paying attention so much to everything that's happening out there in the world instead of what's happening right in front of our own faces so much of the time through these phones and um, yeah <laughs> thank you guys for listening um, thank you for all the support over the years those of you that have, that have been here since day one I, I really appreciate it and uh, take care of yourselves take care of each other see you in the next video aloha